And there's one thing that I've been asked a lot within the past few weeks, besides uploading more frequently and doing more streams, it's my thoughts on the Nintendo NX and the current information that we have. And if you guys aren't aware, as of late, there's been big time rumors from really respected sources that say apparently the NX is definitely going to be a handheld, which has the ability to be put on top of a base to be used for television, therefore it has like the hybrid functionality, which is something that the Wall Street Journal leaked a long time ago, although it's way too early to still tell, and of course, rumors are rumors, so they should be taken with a grain of salt, but if this is the case, what my thoughts are on it. So apparently it's going to be using the NVIDIA Tegra processor, it would be one of the strongest uh, mobile gaming devices ever created. We have to kind of ask the question now, what does this mean for Nintendo when they're not really taking the route of using like the most powerful hardware in comparison to the other consoles? Now everyone is saying, well, it's still going to lack in terms of power when it comes to the PS4 and the Xbox One. That may be true, but I feel like they have an ace up their sleeve. Nintendo had put together both their home console and their portable departments, so now they're both working in unison. This has a lot of benefits, in my opinion. If a developer decides to make a game for the NX, that there isn't going to be two platforms to decide against. Anything that's made for the NX will be for the NX, and it will be able to be played outside or at home. I'm wondering what the native resolution of this thing will be when you put it on to the television, but I do hope that it comes in at 1080p. One thing I can't lie about is that when I initially heard the NX was going to be a handheld focused gaming console, then I was a little bit distraught because I thought, okay, it's not going to have the power that I feel like it needs to be able to be a viable console within the market as of now. But that may not be the case because power is somewhat of an overestimated variable when it comes to gaming consoles. The thing that's the most important, of course, is obviously going to be the games that are on it. Where did the Wii U fail and fuck up the most, which is why it has no third-party support? Some people may say that it was the power of the console, but that was just one variable. I think the most important area that the Wii U failed in was having the marketing to be able to convince people that it was worth buying. Because guys, if you can't convince people that the console is worth buying, then that means you can't convince third-party developers that the console is worth developing for because you don't have the sales behind it to be encouraged that activity in the first place. The power was just another variable on top of that, which made things even more inconvenient. But the first bar of convenience has to be that you show third-party developers that your console is worth developing for, and that's where the Wii U didn't have it. That leads me to the NX. Marketing is going to be so important. You need to show people exactly why it is they need your console. That's why I'm thinking maybe the NX is going to be something completely different, because Nintendo, we've seen in many interviews with Reggie being um, talked about with the Nintendo NX and the Wii U, he agrees with the point that it was the marketing that brought down the Wii U. The NX is going to be improved when it comes to marketing, but then why? Why haven't we seen anything about it yet? It's because I think Nintendo got an ace up the sleeve, dog. That's just my... my I, I feel like they are going to be pulling out one of the most aggressive campaigns that we've ever seen in the gaming industry. The fact that they've stayed quiet about it for this long, so many people think it's them shooting themselves in the foot, but they could just be setting themselves up for a massive reveal later on and could be pushing something that's really going to blow people's socks off. The importance of having the NX be regarded as something that you need in your life, it's good that they've kept mum on it. And even though it's not going to be releasing around the holiday season, I still feel that like the anticipation of us talking about the Annex without us actually knowing what it's about is somewhat helping it because now everyone knows that there's this mythical creature which they have in their back pocket. But I'm, d I'm definitely hoping that we get something in September. Am I concerned about it not having that power? Not necessarily, because handhelds is something that Nintendo has been really good at doing, so I think it's actually pretty damn smart that they're combining those markets, and I always felt that the handheld market was more viable. That's just me, though. I know. Maybe that's not like an educated opinion, and but for me, handheld gaming is the most convenient for my lifestyle. I'm not really on the television too much. I mean, we're, I'm a more mobile kind of guy, so for me, that's my preference. Maybe I can't speak for everyone out there, and there are families out there that you know, have kids and they're not exactly going to be living the same lifestyle than I am, but at least for me, this is what works. Having something that I'll be able to play on the go and then throw on the TV as well, it's Nintendo trying to cater to a market of people that are way more mobile in the present day. Will this necessarily replace gaming on a mobile device or a smartphone? I doubt it. I don't feel like they will be able to do that unless this somehow turns out to be 
a device that can be used as a phone too. Like, are we are we are we gonna go fucking um, what's the name of that? Are we, are we gonna go Nokia Engage now? The fucking taco. I don't know if Nintendo really is trying to compete with the mobile markets, but I know they're trying to take on similar strategies to the mobile market because it's the biggest category of gaming, I suppose. So with that in mind, they're trying to emulate those same conditions, make a device that's very powerful, able to be put right into your pocket, and that you can also enjoy when you're at home. It sounds genius in my opinion, like at first I didn't like it, but I don't know, the idea has grown on me, and now I'm pretty damn amped up for the idea of a super powerful Nintendo handheld that can double as a console, and with the removable controllers, there have been a lot of concept art out there that really has turned me on. I think that this is something that I'm really opening up for, but I want to know what you guys think. I'll leave a straw poll in the description. So in closing, my final thoughts are this. I feel that the NX needs to tick all the boxes that the Wii U failed at. Even though it has a great library of games, those came too late. So what does the NX need? A strong launch lineup right away. First parties, of course, are necessary, but the question is, will Nintendo really be able to secure the third parties necessary to make this thing popular as soon as it's shown to us? So if they are planning on doing Smash Brothers uh, as a remake for the NX, then they need to make sure that that thing is available right there. Breath of the Wild, that's a necessary must, and it will be there. If they launch this thing with any kind of F-Zero or Metroid, then we got the first parties locked down. You gotta have your standard Mario stuff as well. And we're having recent reports talking about Pokemon also being on the console within the first six months too. So very good moves, Nintendo. And hopefully when this thing comes out, it's gonna have that impactful, hard-hitting library to force people to think, hey, maybe I should get myself an NX. The next thing that they have to do is market that bitch better than anything that they ever have before. Strong launch lineup massive marketing put those two things together and you'll have people buying the nx and people buying it will be enough to have third-party supporters come on board to see what's going on want to know what you guys think is power more important than i made it out to be in this video let me know and i'll talk to you guys in the next one take care of yourselves and of course as usual please have yourself a damn good one